All right, welcome to part B of the JavaScript plugins for Bootstrap. In this video, we're going to talk about the Collapse plugin and the Accordion and the Carousel. So we'll start with Collapse, and basically what that is is you can have an element such as a button where you can click it and then you can have a piece of content collapse or, or uncollapse, so open and close, which is kind of like a modal except it's not in the light box, it's, it's in another section of the, the application or the UI. All right, so we'll start with uh, an A tag. So we're going to give this, oh, we're going to give this a class of BTN, BTN primary, and let's give it a data toggle attribute. And you'll notice that all of these JavaScript plugins, they have a, a specific data toggle value that they use. This one is going to be collapse. And then for the href, that's going to be an ID. Let's just call it my content. Oops, that needs to be a number sign. My content. And in here, let's say click me. Okay. And then down here, uh, we're going to have a div. And we're going to give this div a class of collapse. Okay, and we're going to give it the ID my content. Okay, so this ID has to match this right here. Okay, and then inside here, let's put in a div with the class of well just to give it kind of a background and some padding. And we'll say text for collapse widget. Okay, so let's save that, reload. If I click that, you can see that that content opens and closes. Okay, now you don't have to use an A tag, you could also use a button. So let's copy that. And this time, this is going to be a button. And let's give it a class of BTN default. And you want the data toggle collapse, that's correct. And then you don't want the href here, this has to be data target. And set that to my content. So now if we reload, you can see that that also opens it, but uh, I need to fix this. This needs to be button. Okay, so now that opens the same exact content, both of them do. So that's the collapse widget. Next, we're going to talk about the accordion. Uh, and if we go and look at the documentation, let's go to, let's see, collapse. Right here, we have an accordion example. Okay, so it's basically kind of like um, vertical tabs. Now, I'm not going to go and type all this out because it is quite a bit. I'll just go ahead and copy this whole thing right here. Actually, I can just click this copy link. And then we'll go and add some line breaks, paste it in. And if we look at the code, it's pretty simple. There's just a lot of it. Um, we have a div with the class of panel group, ID of accordion. Uh, we have some of the, the special accessibility um, attributes here, which you don't need, but they are good to have. And then we have a panel, panel heading. Um, you can see that the, it has an ID of heading one. And there's an A tag here with the data toggle collapse. So the accordion is actually part of the collapse plugin. Okay, has a data parent of accordion. The href is collapse one. Okay, and down here you can see that this div has an ID of collapse one. Okay, so this tab here is going to pertain to this content. And then down here you'll see we have uh, a heading with the ID of heading two. And we have our tab with the uh, href of collapse to, which is going to pertain to this here, heading to and collapse to. And then we have one more. Okay, so let's save that and reload. And there we go, there's our accordion. So the next thing we're going to look at is the carousel or the slider. 
okay, which is basically just a, a quick slideshow. You can change the images out. Now you should have in your files, you should have an image folder with uh, with these three images. Okay, these are just, just three sample images that we're going to be using. All right, so let's go and add some line breaks here. Okay, and then we're going to create a div and let's give it an ID of carousel example generic. Okay, and this is this is from the the bootstrap documentation. I just want to type it out so that I can kind of explain it. All right, so we're going to give this a class of carousel and also slide and it's going to take an attribute called data ride. Okay, and that's going to be carousel. And then we'll close that div up. So in here we're going to have some indicate indicators which will indicate each slide. This is actually going to be in an ordered list. Okay, and this is going to have a class of carousel indicators and we're going to have some allies here this will have a uh, data target attribute and we're just going to use this right here this carousel example generic okay we want to put a number sign in front of it though just like that and then we're going to have an attribute called data slide two and we're going to set that to zero so we can specify uh, which slide we want these indicators to slide to and this is going to be the active one so we're going to add a class of active okay and then we don't need to have anything in the actual list item so I'm going to copy this and paste it in two more times okay and then we just want to change this to one and this two, and we just want to get rid of the active class on these two. Just like that. All right, so if I was to save this and reload, you can see that there's no changes. Nothing shows up. We need to add the wrapper for the slides. So let's tab that over, and we're going to go under the OL, create a div. We're going to give this a class of carousel-inner. And we're going to give this a row of list box. And in here, we're going to have a couple divs. This will have a class of item. And this is also going to be the active item. Okay, and here we can put our image with the source. It's going to be in the image folder slash one dot JPEG. Okay, that's the first image. And for alt, we're going to put an alt attribute and just put three dots. All right, now this can have a caption. Actually, for the alt, let's just say image one. And then we'll have a caption, which will be in a div class equals uh, carousel caption. And let's see. We'll just say this is image one. Tab that over. Okay, then we're going to copy this div with the item class. And we're going to paste that in two more times. And we just want to get rid of the active class. This one here is going to be 2.jpg. We'll change the alt. We'll change this to 2. And then this one here is three. And we'll change that to three. All right. So if we look at that, we get our, our first image. This is the active image. And I think I actually have one too many divs here because this ends here. Or, no, actually, no, that's that's correct. 
the con and you can see that it's changing on its own every I don't know it looks like it's about five seconds or so but what we want to do is add some controls we want a previous and a next arrow so we're gonna go right here okay you want to go within the last div don't go under it you want to be within it and let's put an a tag we're going to give it a class of left and also carousel control and then an href which is going to go to this right here carousel example generic like that and let's give it a roll of button and then we want to give it a data slide attribute and we're going to set that to prev or prev. All right, and then within the a tag, we're going to have a span because we want this to be uh, an icon. So we're going to use a glyphicon. Glyphicon and glyphicon dash uh, chevron chevron left okay we want that to be a left facing arrow all right and then we can end that span and then right underneath it uh, we want to have a span and then give this a class of sr only and then we're going to put the text previous. All right, and I think that should do it for the left button. So now we'll just copy this. And then we want to do the right. So for this one, I'm going to change this class right here to right. And the data slide is going to be next. We're going to change this icon to chevron right, and this text will be next. All right, so let's save that and see what we get. All right, so we now have our arrows here, and you can see we can scroll through. But the width, we need to fix the width, and we can simply do that with, uh, with CSS. So let's go up to our head area. And we'll put in style. And we know it has a class of slide, I believe. So I'm going to set the width to uh, 420 pixels. Okay, we'll reload that. And there we go. So we have our images. You can see we have our caption. We can also navigate with these controls right here, these little dots. And it's as easy as that. Okay, so you don't have to go searching for some third-party slider program. If you use Bootstrap, you can just add this and you're all set. All right, so we're going to go ahead and stop here. In the next video, we're going to create a, a Twitter Bootstrap template using many of the features that we've gone over in this section.